You want to build a clean, green airplane. The primary thing you want to do is make it lightweight from the structure side. This is the James H. Starnes Structures and Materials Laboratory. Uh, we've tested aircraft components in this building since the 1940s. We test um, trying to determine how a structural will perform in flight. What we try to do with the test specimen is we push it or pull it or twist it until we cause it to break. We want to get the best load carrying capability, the strongest structure for the least amount of weight. The biggest challenge for the structure side with the green airplane is getting to these complex, complicated shapes for the aircraft that we haven't looked at before. Perseus is designed so that even if you get a, a damage at one location, a very severe failure at one location, the cracks will only spread so far. If you look real close, you might be able to see that there's stitching along here. Those stitches go all the way through this side to this side, and that helps hold the, the layers of structure together. You've got layers of material that are built up, and then you have, th that gives you your skin, and then you have part that wraps around here. So what you end up with is a rod in the center with wraps around it, and then you have um, a series of these lined up together. If you have a crack in a structure in flight, the crack will stop, the pilot will know there's that severe damage, and he'll be able to land the plane safely. Now we've got stitching, plus the protruded rods, plus all these other things that are coming together, and it's looking closer and closer to the point where we really will be able to apply this technology to a real airplane someday. And 10 or 15 years from now, I hope to be able to see that happen.